The next exercise we're going to address is one that also would fall into helping develop hip extension. So we're looking at general movements. Again, this will fall under the camp of hip extension and is known as a Romanian deadlift. The Romanian deadlift, commonly most people will use dumbbells or a barbell. And you'll take those weights and you're going to hold them right in front of your legs. This is the position that you're going to be in to start. Now from the side, same thing true as the box squat, we're going to essentially kick the hips back first. So all of our movements should be happening at the hip joints or essentially what they know as a hip hinge. Think of it through your hips, there was a rod running through them and that's the point in which you have to rotate or pivot around. Once we're in position, the hips shoot back. Again, my back isn't moving. Everything's coming from the hips. Hips go back, weight slide down to about mid-shin for most people as they start to feel some tension within the hamstrings. And then you're going to stand back up by pushing the hips forward. Hips go back, come forward. Now, that becomes a nice exercise to develop hip extension. If we want to incorporate a little bit more proprioceptive ability and the, tying in some components of single leg balance with the hip hinge, we can do a single leg RDL. In this fashion, in a, you can start unweighted and you can also progress to using these with weights, but you want to set your feet appropriately and then perform the hip hinge down. So there's your RDL and then back up. Again, Romanian deadlift, you can progress it to a single leg Romanian deadlift.